Hey there folks, this is Ian. I'm an artist at Pingua, and today we're going to be working in Krita doing penciling. Penciling is the step of comic creation where we're going to take our rough line art and refine it to a state a little closer to what the final art is going to look like. So I'm going to be using the page that I've set up in previous videos. Uh, check those out if you have not. Just to recap, I have my roughs in a layer in the layers panel inside a clipping group for my line art. That allows me to use this panels layer to use inherited alpha to restrict the drawing to the area of the panels and keep it out of my gutters and margins. My panel borders are on top just to keep it nice and clean. And at this point, we're gonna use these rough sketches to lay out something more fitting to the final product. I'm gonna start by making a new layer by clicking the plus button, the new layer button. It brings up a layer here. I'm gonna double click it to rename it. And now I have my pencil layers. So to draw over this right now, it, it's possible, but it's going to be hard to make out what my rough layers are and what my final pencils are. So I'm going to select the rough layer and I'm going to reduce the opacity to around 30%. It doesn't have to be precise, whatever you're comfortable with. And then I'm going to reselect the pencils layer. From your brush presets on the left-hand side in this layout, I'm just going to use the pencil too. There's a variety of pencils, uh, charcoal, different brushes that you can choose. It's really up to personal preference. I like to stick with just the pencil too to get a basic idea. I'm going to be inking later on, but if pencils are the final step for you, you can choose a tool that's right for that. This is a little bit softer, almost a little sketchier than I'd normally use if I was working in traditional media. So now that I have this selected, I'm gonna zoom in on one of my panels center it in the page. Uh, this hand that I'm doing to drag around, if you hold the space bar on your keyboard while clicking and dragging with the left mouse button, it will change into a hand and allow you to reposition the canvas. So using my pencil tool, which is currently set at 10 pixels, I'm going to try and use this as an overlay and draw my final pencils using single strokes if possible. just to keep it cleaner and to avoid the sketchy look that my rough drawing has. If you make a mistake while you're doing this, there are a couple ways to deal with it. So say I do that, I'm not happy with that line. I can use Control Z to undo. Control Shift Z will redo. In addition, there are these two buttons, back and forth arrows in the toolbar that will do the same thing as Control Z and Shift Control Z. In addition, all of the brushes in the presets have an eraser mode. Uh, up at the top toolbar, there's this little button here. This is the set eraser mode button. If you click it and then draw back on the screen, you're going to be erasing pixels rather than adding them. And it will have all the same brush properties as the basic brush preset but just working in reverse. You can also use E to toggle that off or on. Now it's off and I can go back to drawing. Another tool you can use when you're drawing, if the angle, if I'm trying to draw a circle, it's possible, but it's not great. Your hand likes to work in certain arcs and not in the opposite arc. It gets a bit crunchy on that side. So what you can do to ease your drawing, similar to turning a page, if you're working with uh, pencil and paper, you can use the four and six keys to rotate your canvas to an angle that's more appropriate and gives you a more natural line. So four will turn counterclockwise and six will turn clockwise. I'm just gonna fast forward ahead a little bit and finish the penciling for this page as quickly as I can. So I'll be right back with the finished product. Now here's the finished pencils that I've done. Um, you'll notice that there are certain areas in the page where my pencil lines have gone outside of the bounds of the panels. 
And because this pencil layer is inside the clipping group with the panels layer on the bottom, it has all the information for these rectangles. I can turn on inherited alpha, which is just this little A button here in the layers panel, and it will hide all of those lines that have gone outside of the borders and just clean it up a little bit. Now the next stage of the comic page creation will be inking for me. Uh, for some people, they only do pencils and that's it. But I like to ink my work. I like a nice bold line. So some of the pencil line here is a little rougher and a lot of the areas are kind of sketched in where I'm going to be doing fills. If you are working with another inker, um, something that you can do are put in these small X's. These are fill marks. It's kind of a standard convention. Another thing you can do, you see how I've done this tree and just kind of roughed in where I'm going to put shadows, solid shadows. I can also just outline those areas and drop X's in, and then an inker will know that has to be totally filled with black. But if you're working on it on your own, you can use whatever is most comfortable for you. So that's a quick overview of penciling in Krita. Uh, play around with the brush presets, find the tools that are right for you. Play around with the uh, set eraser mode and rotating your canvas. Until next time, keep drawing. Bingo!